right, boys. Let's get it going. Smear ball. Strike ball. Let's put the headphones and the wallet and the car keys in the bag. And let's get it going. No, I have not warmed up at all today. I might look a little crazy. I might look like I'm talking to myself in here, but um, my worst fear did not happen. There's not 700 people in here, but you're just you're gonna get to hear about what I think about when I'm born. Uh, don't judge me based off my first ball. Get on that. Um, don't get too used to that, because that won't happen too many times. But, uh, that's a good ball. Alright. Um, let's see. Stand in the same spot. I always make sure I stand on a very specific board, and I aim for a very specific spot. Try and do a similar thing as to what I did last time. Oh, that might be high. Oh my god. Drift's going kind of crazy today. Got the Outcast T on. But, um, I'm glad to say I'm throwing a good ball so far. That's in there. Oh my god, that's fucking disgusting. That's fucking disgusting. Huh. Warm-up game's going pretty pretty yucky right now. Should be three strikes, not gonna count. Nine pins, man. Um, for this ball, I'm gonna move my feet just a half a board to the right and throw it in the same spot and hopefully it doesn't leave a nine pin. Gotta take the light hit. Gotta take the light hits, folks. Um, yeah, I'm gonna be sure that I I warm up every time. I don't know, because I guess I'm just having a good day, because I haven't warmed up whatsoever. I haven't warmed up whatsoever. Alright. That's a good ball. Light. Oh! Trip 10. Surprisingly, haven't left a 10 pin. Almost left one, but I tripped it out. That might be one too. Damn. And I missed it. You fucking dumbass. No more across the lane bullshit. As long as I don't open here, get back, make it back. It almost didn't make it back. That could have been a nasty split. Should have made it. Should have made it. Sweet. That's a good ball. We'll take it. Ugh. Game one. Yeah. Not too darn bad. Starting to get very used to it. Bowling very well on Monday nights. That's the only night out of the four nights that I bowl that doesn't have a house shot like this. That's a strike for sure. Get on that shit. Mondays I'm going to be subbing for the rest of the season because the guy that I'm substituting for just passed away yesterday, R.I.P. Mike. Fucking 10 pin. Same lane. I missed it again. Same fucking spot. Oh, tight. It's tight. Oh, get on that shit. Who do I want to dedicate this strike to? To Leek. This one's for you, buddy. Oh, that was light as fuck. It didn't strike, did it? No chance that struck. Wow. Don't get too quick. Don't get too quick. Keep it slow. Keep it slow and throw a strike. That was not a strike. I'm sorry, folks. That was a fucking 10 pin, 1 million percent. This is what you want to see. Give me a second. You're going to keep it tight to where you don't see any space. Oh, 
that was a little too tight. That's kind of what I meant, but that was too tight. Pick your spot. Uh, it's too far out. Make it back. Make it back. Light hit. Yes. All right. We're going to stand on 16 and a half, and we're going to aim for 10. I'll explain that here in a minute. Oh, I pulled it. Tight, tight, tight. Yes, I did get 190. Woo. Not a good game, but a decent game. Slightly above average. Ah, game three. Game three. Come on, come on, come on. The, it's starting to get a little slick. And my ball is pretty slick. I'm really hoping Brandy's not going to put people... Okay, she's putting them two lanes down. Maybe they'll want to sit here and watch me while I'm talking to myself. <laughs> I don't want you guys coming in here expecting me first game or first day, first episode especially, throwing 300. It's not going to happen. I threw a good amount of strikes in that first game, which was surprising. I also don't want you to think I'm going to come in here and shoot 140s consistently because I'm not a shit bowler. I promise. But I also know that I'm not a good bowler. I'm on that thin line in between. Oh, that's too far out. Too far. Come back. Damn it. All right. Now, I think we're getting close to midway through the episode. I think it's about time we, uh, we elaborate and we explain on why I'm here. So, you see a big opportunity, right, to go bowling and make some money on TikTok. But you also have two jobs. One part-time, which I work here. I do indeed still work here. And you also have a full-time job. But between those two jobs... You work 75 hours. That's a lot of hours. That's tight, but it's a strike. It's power, man. It's fucking power. But yeah, you work 75 hours as an 18-year-old straight out of high school. What do you do? Do you keep working until you're financially stable and then start your TikTok? Or do you quit your job completely like a fucking dumbass and go for TikTok that is not even guaranteed money yet? Well, my dumb ass turned off in two. So I'm here. I do still work here, but I make shit for money. No offense, but I do. Um, I quit my other job. That's Brooklyn Mike Strike. Oh, fucking five pin. I, I quit my full time job. And when I bowl here on Mondays, I have a lot of people criticizing me for the fact. I know it's jokes. But they always tell me about, oh, you're a dumbass, quit your job. Why don't you go be a fucking pretty boy TikTok star? And it just reminds me on the fact that I'm struggling. And I never let it get to me. But one of the reasons I quit my job in the first place, um, my great-grandfather just passed away. I missed it. I missed it. Oh, my great-grandfather just passed away two weeks ago today. I attended his funeral yesterday, but I quit my job on Wednesday a week and a half ago. So it was about four days after he died. All the people there, I just wasn't cut out. Obviously, I'm not a big guy. I just wasn't cut out for the work we were doing. I'm not a manly man, if you know what that means. I'm not feminine. I'm not fucking, you know, but... I'm just, I wasn't cut out for the things that we were doing. I wasn't good at it. I didn't like the people I was working with. So, therefore, I was mentally, physically exhausted and struggling. And that kind of pressure just got to me and caused me to quit my job. Here, I only work about 20 hours a week. At that other full-time job, I was working 54 hours a week, mandatory overtime all the way, every fucking week. I did it for a whole month. I just couldn't do it anymore, and we had to do that shit all the way up until June. I had to work on Saturdays all the way until June, 54 hours a week. So if I can find another full-time job, oh, that Brooklyn, go Brooklyn. All right, we'll take it. But if I can find another full-time job, Within 32 to 40 hours, that could really help me out. But I also don't want some $10 an hour bullshit. But yeah, that's that's essentially why I'm here. I almost missed that. No, I didn't. Walked it off like a fucking pro. Yes, sir. Yeah, I just been 
mentally I've been struggling, but I keep pushing. I've been mentally struggling since about May of 2020 when I turned 17. And I turned 19 in May of this upcoming year. So it's been almost a year and a half. I've just been struggling. Oh, oh, that's tight. Brooklyn. Oh, 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 get on it, bitch. Yeah, I'm just... I won't say that I'm depressed, because I can never be depressed. I don't like people. I don't pity people that are depressed. Because it's that's an excuse. And I always feel the pressure caving in, but I never, ever let it get to me, bro. And people, I know y'all are just watching a bowling TikTok, bro. Y'all don't want to hear this shit, but it's just... I figured I'd let you know. I always, I always manifest it, that I'm going to be rich. Now I'm going to make it big. And I don't want y'all to let anybody tell you that you can't do that shit. I got 90 followers on TikTok, and I quit my full-time job for this shit. I'm trying to let y'all know that I'm trying to be dedicated. Oh, no. Brooklyn again. Get on it, bitch. Oh, no. Brooklyn again. Get on it, bitch. But it's just... It's one of those things that I just, I don't know, man. I know people, they think well of me and they try and tell me, oh, no, we just, we mess around with you, but we know you'll make it big. And then the very next night, they're over here saying, fuck you, you're a piece of shit. And, yeah, they may be joking and know that shit doesn't get to me. But it just kind of makes me think. It reminds me. It always lets me know that, damn, bro, there's... There's a chance you won't make it all the way, but I fucking will. Give me that light hit, bitch. Um, 193. That's a good game. But yeah, bro. That game was just kind of me letting you guys know about why I'm here. Why I'm doing it. Why do I think this was a good idea? Because like I said, I've manifested it for a while now. I'm going to make it big. I'm going to do it. But now, let's get back into bowling. There were a lot of Brooklyn's that last game. Oh, that's light. That's light. But it strikes because I'm a fucking god. Tuck it in. <laughs> Tuck it in. What a jokester. That's tight again. It's fucking tight again. Walk it off. Walk it off like the fucking goat you are, man. I'm just, I'm that guy. I'm indeed that guy. My ball is starting to feel very slick. And I do not like it. That's tight, but it's a strike. Give me that shit, boy. Woo! Don't be nervous. No need to be nervous. You're not going to shoot 300. Oh, wow. Sweet. That's tight again. That's tight. Oh! Get on that shit, boy. I'm getting lucky. Lucky. I just broke my wrist. I just broke my wrist. Oh. I just broke my wrist. That's another problem I got with throwing it with uh, no thumb hole. Because when I just put my two fingers in the ball, then I have to cuff it. And just kind of when it, sometimes when I release it, I got a, I got a short pain. Felt like I broke my wrist, no cap. That's tight. Straight fucking power. Power. Oh. Get on it. Get on that shit, boy. My arm is starting to get sore. Oh, no. Too far. Make it back. Get on that oh. shit, boy. I did it again. I did it again. Hey, I'm going to throw a strike right here for you. This one's just for you, Thomas. Could have been worse. Could have been worse. Come on, Tyler. Come on, 
Tyler. No, that's tight. Oh, shit. Oh, no, I missed it. I missed it. Damn it, man. Three opens, bro. Last game. Oh no, Brooklyn. Yes. No more Brooklyn. No more Brooklyn, and you're going to go Brooklyn. Oh, fuck me, man. I just stopped pulling it. Oh, that's Brooklyn again. It don't count. It was Brooklyn. It don't count. Damn. Lower back starting to get a little, a little iffy. Take it nice and slow. Straight back, straight forward. Make a fucking 10 pin. Yes! Oh, make it back. Ah! Oh, make it. Damn. Oh, uh, it's too far out again, but it might make it back. Oh. I missed it again. Again, dude. Oh, it's tight. The only way I can strike now is if I go to Brooklyn. The ball slid. There you go. Wait. Those are my best day. 156, game five. What did I shoot? Game four? One. I don't even remember when I shot game four. I know I shot 205, 190, 193. <sighs> Not my best day of bowling, but you know. About to head on over to the mall. Give me a little sandwich. But yeah, overall, it wasn't my best day of bowling, but I enjoyed it. Um, I don't know, man. I don't know. Hopefully everything works out. Maybe it won't, maybe it will, but later boys.